Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. Well, I'm out here in my barn tonight, and I want to show you my new homemade two-foot pipe burner. You may have seen our video on a longer version of this pipe burner, but I bought a smaller syrup pan. It's actually a two-by-two-foot syrup pan, so I needed a smaller version. So I built three of these, and I also built, if you look there on the right, three homemade venturis, and they absolutely worked flawlessly. So if you'll stay tuned, I'm going to show you what we did to build them, and then I'm going to show you the range of this burner, because you can turn it down very low, and you can turn it up very high. Okay, first, the pipe. This is about 43 inches, and the reason it's that long is because I wanted to be able to go through the block and have my venturi outside of the block, okay? So that's why I chose to have it 43 inches. All right, obviously my two foot area is the cut part of it here. You can see where I made my cuts. That's a total of two feet. The throat back here is about 12 and a half inches. And then this other part is just to put through the block. Now for the cap. On my other video, I used just a regular end cap. However, I found that once these get hot, you can't hardly get that cap off. So what I did there, I just put a coupling on and put a plug in there. You can absolutely get that thing out. Okay, for, for actually making the cuts in the burner, I did these just like I did in my original video. These are about one and a half inches apart. I marked across the pipe. But make it about one and a half inches. And you can look at your framing square to do that. So as you can see our lines, we're just going to go down that. And that's where we're going to cut. And then I cut into the pipe. And that's all I did. Okay, for the homemade Venturi. This thing absolutely couldn't be any easier. So my pipe is an inch and a quarter. So I bought an inch and a quarter to two inch T, okay? So I wanna make sure it's pulling plenty of air. So that's why I bought the inch and a quarter to two inch T. And what that means is, that's gonna screw on your pipe right there. That's gonna go under that inch and a quarter pipe burner you just built. That is a two inch opening on each side. So what I did is, I got a four inch nipple for each side, and I actually screwed those in. Now, I drilled a hole, and that's where my orifice goes. I'm gonna drill this out at 564. Okay, to assemble the homemade venturi, it's very easy. So I've got an orifice here that's drilled out to 564, okay? I've got a bushing that that orifice is gonna go into, all right? And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna tighten it up. And finger tight is fine, because I always like to be able to get these loose, all right? Now, so if you can see there, and finger tight is fine. So then we're just gonna put these nipples in on each side. So we're gonna screw them in. And there it is. There's your homemade Venturi. Like I said, I've got an inch and a quarter here. I got two inches here. These are four inch nipples on each side and there's my orifice and then that just screws on here just like this and you can take it on around wherever you want it right there so it's kind of sitting on top and that's it okay we have everything all connected up now i'm going to light it and show you how well it works here a little gas going through All right, that's at a very, very, very low pressure. So I just want to show you how well it works, even at a very low pressure, because it's getting plenty of air and plenty of fuel. And so even at a very, very low pressure, it's burning very nicely. So and then we can turn it up. I'm going to turn out the lights in here so you can really see how hard it's running. So you can see how well it's doing, and it absolutely ran perfect. I ran it for like two straight days wide open like this. All three of the burners did excellent. Okay, I wanna show you this pipe burner from the Venturi Inn. 
and you can see the flames look really nice and they're really tall it's absolutely throwing out the heat I have three of these pipe burners and all three of them performed flawlessly over two days this past fall and that's with the homemade Venturi okay now I'm going to show you from the opposite of the Venturi end just so you can see it from down here okay what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to turn the regulator down because I just want to show you how pleased I am with this homemade Venturi because you can absolutely turn it down basically to a low and I had to do that when we were using this this fall so you can see the range from very high open to very very low so we hope you gained some useful knowledge on how to build your own homemade pipe burner in this case we built the two foot version of our pipe burner and your own homemade Venturi thanks for watching